these are the belt holders that we prepared a while ago we will fold this more or less one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter then we will top stitch the edge of the fold okay then fold the other side and again top stitch this side Okay, the others will be sewn in the same manner. Okay, we will place the belt holder right after the curve of the slide pocket. So we will pin this this way. Then we will pin the belt holder at the center of the seam. Then the other belt holder will be from the seam. We will pin the other one 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters away from the side seam line. We will also go out 1 inch after the side seam line to attach the other belt holder. Now we will stay stitch or sew on the sewing line of the waistline. This we will use as a guide when we attach the waistband. Just be conscious of the metals so that the needle will not hit it. Just make sure that the belt holder is well placed. Okay, be careful with the metal teeth of the zipper. So close the teeth of the zipper and make sure that your sewing line of the stay stitching is aligned on the left side of the pants and on the right side of the pants. As you can see, the sewing lines are aligned there. Okay, from the edge of the fabric for the waistband, we will go out one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter then we will lay our band roll on the fabric on the wrong side of our waistband this way now we will attach the waistband to the pants we open the zipper and on the wrong side we will pin this sewing line on the sewing line of the waistline of the pants we leave one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters waistband fabric away from the edge of the zipper placket. Be mindful of the metal teeth of the zipper. Follow the stay stitches on the waistline that we did on the main pants to mark the sewing line of the waistline. She's making sure that our belt holder is lying flat. Okay, as you can see, the zipper is flat on the machine board. Okay, she's uh, running the machine with her hands so that she will not hit the, the needle will not hit the, the teeth of the metal teeth of the zipper. Now we will check if we have attached the waistband on the same level. 
From the stay stitching marking the sewing line of the waistline, we will just again leave 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter. And you see, if you have an excess length of zipper, this is the way to cut it between the teeth of the zipper. Okay, this is the sewing line. This is the waistline. These stitches are the stitches that attach the pocket to the main pants. Okay, as you can see, on the other side, we're cutting again from the sewing line of the waistline. We're just leaving 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter. Okay, now we will attach the other end of the waistband on the main pants by removing the pin and pinning this side of the waistband. Flatten the bulkiness here. We can pound on it, but it's best to use a small hammer. Okay, we start sewing more or less one eighth of an inch or 0.3 centimeters from the edge of the waistband. As you can see, because this side is quite thick and uh, there's a zipper tip. We had to hand sew this part or turn the hand wheel manually. Okay, we will be top stitching all the sides of the waistband. Now we will complete the connection of our belt holder. From the edge of the waistband, we will go out one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters and we will sew on top of this to attach the belt holder to the main pants. We have to lock stitch this to secure it well. Then, we will hold the belt holder until the edge of our waistband. Now, we will cut the excess of the belt holder. So, this is the way to attach the belt holder to the waistband. We will continue attaching the belt holders to the waistband using the same procedure. Now we will be marking the button hole. From the edge of the waistband, we will go out 3 8 of an inch 
or one centimeter there. Then we will mark the width of the bottom. Okay, this way. Then we will get the center to mark the opening of the bottom hole. Now we will run a stitch around the, the line to make sure that the fabric pieces and the band roll are secured together. Now we will sew around the markings of the bottom hole so that when this is cut, all the fabric pieces and the band roll are secured. For the button holding and the attachment of the button or placement of the button, please refer to lesson 318. The instructions are all there. Okay, in the Philippines, if you go to the Notion shop, you can actually make them attach mechanically a denim button here and also attach rivets wherever you want. Now we will finish the bottom part of our pants or the hemline. So this sewing line allowance of the outer side seam, we folded on the back part of the pants on this area, on the top side or the hip area. So for the hemline, we also fold the sewing allowance on the back part of the pants. Then we fold this, this way on the hemline you see this uh, markings of the hemline and we refold this and we pin this the sewing allowance on this side is already sewn on the front because we have double stitch the sewing allowance of the inseam The first fold is aligned on the sewing line and the second fold is actually on the sewing line. We will top stitch this. To make it easier to run the machine top stitching here, we will hand base the fold of the hem line or the bottom of the pants. The stitches should run more or less 1 8 or 0.3 centimeters from the edge of the fold of the hem line. Now we have to reverse the leg of the pants. We start our top stitching on the inseam. The basting will serve as the guide for the top stitching. Now we will remove the hand basting. Okay, we will use the same procedure for the other leg of the pants. Here now is more or less the complete basic ladies pants.